everybody, this is Sarah from Simply Sarah Stampin' and today I just want to show you a quick card that I made uh, doing a little bit of watercoloring using the color splashes and silks. And this is the card that I created. Let's see if we can get that to focus in a little better. Anyway, I made it into a birthday card and I will quickly show you <clears throat> how I made it. I made it using two of the stamps from Fun Stamper's Journey set called Wonderful Day. And I stamped it onto some color splash paper. And you'll find out that I have a lot of stuff um, all prepped and ready to go because I just really want to focus on the watercolor part. So I've already got the two flowers pre-stamped. And I am going to be using the small blending brush for this and also citrus cooler silk. And I will be using some lemon grass color splash. And shake this up good a minute. And I'm going to have a couple of different spots here because I want some pretty dark color and another spot where I just have a little bit of light color. And I will do the same thing with this. I am not going to spritz this. That would make a huge mess. But I'm going to dab a bit of green, and it definitely goes a long way. Yeah, I had someone come home, and I didn't know they were coming home. So my stuff has dried on here, at least the citrus cooler has. So I'm going to go ahead and add some more of that back on. I guess I could get it wet again too but it'll be faster to just add some more on there that there what I do is just dilute this a little bit and I want to color um, all of the flower orange here and I quickly go over it get the whole thing wet I want to get a little bit of water in with this, but it's definitely going to be dark. I have um, paper towels to the side to dab anything that I need to dab. Now I'm just going to come in and where it's darker, I will add the orange that's not quite as, or that's a lot darker actually, not the lighter stuff. Everything that you do when you watercolor, it's going to turn out just a little bit differently. Right now I'm squeezing out some water for my blending brush so it's clear. And I'm going to now add some, oops, that's definitely dry too. Oh, there we go. I want this just to be a little bit light. Then I'll go in and fill in the... Stem and leaves. Just nice and simple, basically just filling it in. I think I might go back over that orange because most of it filled in, so I really want something that's darker.
I like that a lot better. And of course, you always have to remember that watercolors dry quite a bit lighter than the color that you originally see. So if you want something dark, you definitely have to paint it a lot darker than what you're thinking. All right. <clears throat> I think that's good there. And we're going to take a little bit so that can dry. And then I will show you how I put the card together. This piece of paper is three and three fourths inches by three and three fourths inches, and I <clears throat> cut out um, orange cream sickle, and it is four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And as you can see, I cut out a circle and used the um, extra die piece that pokes all the holes in it. I also stamped this leaf branch using um, uh, buttercream. Love the look of that. And the name of that um, set is Branch. It's an ATS. And as you can see, I did a little banner, stamped happy birthday, and put some pearls on. <clears throat> and what I want to do is add some tape to the back of this piece because if I add it to my watercolor paper piece I might have it sticking out in my circle so I know if I add it back here <clears throat> I should be all set. It's going to be a little tricky here but we'll manage. Oh and I forgot to tell you my card base you know uh, one of the two basic sizes it's four and a quarter by eight and a half and it's scored at five and a half. Oops, getting those pearls in the way. Ow. I don't want to get the tape in front of the holes because then you'll be able to see that. So I'm trying to be pretty careful with that. Okay, there we go. That's good for now. <clears throat> then what I need to do is just position it right where I want it to be. And that should hold it into place well enough until I put it onto my card base. Yep, there we go. And as you can see, I made a little boo-boo on this. And what do you do? Just flip your card stock over and use the other side. <clears throat> Most of the time I'll try and cover it up, but I didn't have a pearl big enough to cover that. So I just flipped it over. Definitely want a lot of um, tape with this because watercolor paper <clears throat> is a little stiffer and you want to definitely have that in place. Hmm. Oh, I got it stuck to that finger. Okay. So, yep, put it on, center it as best as I can. And there you go. Once again, I'm going to grab my little tool and I like to, I don't know, I call it burnishing, and I just like to rub this on. It kind of, you know, gets the paper down on there tighter. If you want to, also, you could use um, the foam squares, too. That stuff is pretty sticky, so it will definitely hold any type of watercolor paper in place pretty well. Not as straight as I want it to be, but it'll be good enough for now anyway. That is a way to do some quick water coloring and just have a very pretty birthday card thinking of you with sympathy, anything um, that you want it to be for. Thanks for stopping by and watching my video, and I will have another video for you, like I said, that has features one stamp, and um, I will do some mountains. I will see you later. Mm -hmm.